speed or reliability? That's the question with UDP. User Datagram Protocol, or UDP, is an alternative communications protocol to Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP. Like TCP, UDP acts as a set of rules that specify how data is exchanged over the internet. UDP works by encapsulating data in a UDP packet and adding its own header information to the packet. Then it's encapsulated in an IP packet and sent off to its destination. Both protocols run on the internet protocol, sometimes called TCP IP and UDP IP, but there's important differences between the two. UDP enables process-to-process -process communication, whereas TCP supports host-to-host -host communication. UDP sends messages called datagrams and is considered a best effort mode of communications, while TCP sends individual data packets and is considered a reliable transport medium. Additionally, TCP is a connection-oriented protocol, while UDP is considered connectionless, as it doesn't require a virtual circuit for data transfer. UDP also provides port numbers to distinguish different user requests and a checksum capability to verify data arrived intact, two services not provided by the IP layer. UDP is faster and requires less resources, making it ideal for voice over IP, streaming video, gaming, and live broadcasts. TCP is slower and requires more resources, but is more reliable, preferable for most internet activities that aren't time sensitive. UDP doesn't connect to the receiving computer directly like TCP. Instead, it relies on devices in between the sending and receiving computers to get the data sent successfully. If an application doesn't receive a reply within a certain time frame, the application sends the packet again or stops trying. Because of this, it's unreliable and packets may arrive out of order, have duplicates, or disappear suddenly. But UDP has a low overhead and is popular with services that don't have to work on the first try. When do you use UDP? What about TCP? Let us know in the comments and remember to hit that like button.